Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm doing a update on this Dynamo setup of mine. As you can see in here, it is already running. I'm running it now on 12 volts at just below 1 amp, but that doesn't matter now. And on this side, behind here, I have a small circuitry with this the uh, call shorting circuit. Use a mode sensor over here. At this moment it is not connected. The voltage here is the AC output right over there. I have a transformer, ratio I think 1 to 10, something like that. And a 3 uh, watt load. Uh, let me see, where do I begin? Uh, it is open now. Uh, the transformer is not connected at this moment. If I should engage the call shorting now, it will drag down the system a lot. Gonna do it now to show you. I have here a wire. The light is on, as you can see. I have now here 25 volts in decreasing. So it's a 6 volt increase. System slowing down. It is 1.3 amps now. Gonna remove, sorry for the camera work. Remove the coil shorten again. As you can see the red LED is off. So meaning the system is off now. And now I have 15 volts AC output. Let it get up to speed again till we get around the 19 volts where it was. Then I'm gonna connect the primary of the transformer with the load and then I'm gonna engage the um, call shorting also. Still around 12 volts, yeah, 1.1 amp. So it's getting back to speed and the input is decreasing. We have now 18 volts AC output, almost there. The circuit for uh, call shorting is working pretty good. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is following. Gonna connect the primary of the uh, transformer with the 3 watt load. Here it goes. As you can see, I have a 3 lamp light up. And the voltage now on the primary is 6.8, 6.7. Now I'm gonna introduce the call shorting. There it is. As you can see, it's on. And I have now on the primary, yeah, around 18 volt AC. It sounds good, but the light output is uh, has decreased also. Not also, has decreased now. So the voltage on the primary has increased, but the voltage on the secondary has decreased. The complete output. Gonna disconnect the coil shorting over here and show you the lights. Hopefully you can catch it on camera. Disconnecting now. Yes, I think you can see it. So I'm back to the almost 6 volts on the primary. Better loud output. Light output. Gonna connect the color shorting right over there. Having now on the primary 19 volts AC, but the light output is, um, yeah, like 30% less. So it's an increase in voltage on the primary side with the coil shorting, but the decrease in output power on the secondary side. That's a little bit strange, but anyway. Maybe not strange for the experienced uh, folks out there. Disconnected again. Better loud output, light output. And at lower volts. Connecting again the coil shorting. Uh, almost a double volts, not almost, uh, two, uh, yeah, like two and a half times more volts on the primary side, but less output. And the system, nah, it's, it's not slowing down, maybe a little bit, but not much. So that's a good thing. Only funny thing is that when I use the call shorting, I get more voltage, but less output at least by using the transformer. 
once more disconnecting the call shorting 7 volts on the primary connecting to the output coils better light output gonna disconnect gonna connect the um, shorting now here it comes you see the light is dimmer and I have now higher voltage on the primary anyway think of showing them more and off and the system yeah that's a good sign doesn't seem to feel whatever I do with the coil shorting when the primary is connected without the connect the primary connected it will slow it down gonna remove the primary now and you will hear and we'll let you see over here that it is decreasing disconnect the primary that's the voltage open voltage on the output side I can hear it slowing down you can see it here at the voltage side slowing down also it's an indication that the system is slowing down and here I'm pulling now 1.4 amps and it was before only 1 amp yeah connected back the primary and it will speed up again with a little bit of output anyway uh, hope you enjoyed it and as always Thank you for watching.